Jesus, listen, Jesus said, Matthew 5, 27, Jesus said, if you look at a woman, verse, verse 28, but I say, whosoever looks at a woman, he didn't say whosoever looks at a man, but Jesus knows that it is man's problem. It be we they look at women but us. So Jesus said, if you look at a woman, to last after her, you have committed what? A church. Men, we have lost it. Listen, except the Lord give you grace and you discipline yourself and the hand of God rests on you, it is something that may kill you. I'm telling you because that's a nature. That's a nature. If you want to rear goats, one he goat can impregnate hundred she goats. One he goat line up hundred she goat. One he goat. So it's a natural thing. How many people want to rear cow cattle this and they'll go and say, I want hundred he he goat, hundred she goat. No, 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 no. Just give me hundred she goat and give me one powerful he goat. It's okay. The matter is settled. The farm can go on. So men naturally is our weakness. It is only when we are in Christ and the discipline of Christ and our personal discipline that will help us to submit and to bring this body down. This body is always fighting. Yeah, that is me, man. Without uh, that's why you are looking at chocolate color, dark color, ebony. This color, you are always turning your eyes when you are driving, you are not even watching straight. And sometimes, even in the church, you are looking. That's why all of you women who come to church and dress some way, you are a hindrance to the gospel. And God will judge you and then you'll be surprised. You are tempting the man. Opening your chest, bringing out your, your bum bum. You are testing the man. You want them to fall. You, you want them to fall. When you know it's your weakness, you have intentionally brought out all your chest, all your worm, all your pieto, your G-string is showing. Wicked woman. You want to kill the man. You want to kill the man for us. It's a bad thing. Hallelujah. So this one is for men. So if you're a man and you don't control this last, you don't control it. Before you are aware, you have destroyed your marriage. You are chasing some girl who doesn't even know how to bath. Your wife, a beautiful wife, caring wife is sitting now. Caring for you, cooking for you. And because the last is pushing you, last is a destroyer. Amen. Before you are aware, that last has caused destruction in your marriage. And it's an issue with men. Oh. That's why Job will say in Job 31 verse 1, he said, I have made a covenant with my eye that I will not look after a woman to last after her. I won't. So I discipline myself. Because if you don't, you will disgrace yourself. Oh, no matter you are a prayer warrior, doesn't matter. Because you are a prayer warrior, does not mean it's gone. It's not gone, except God give you grace. I say, except God help you. Except God himself come in and help you. Except God. Yes, you need the help of God. He said, I've made the cover. Listen, when David was older, and one day David was very sick. Those days they didn't have theater, x-ray. The only thing that people could use to check whether David's sickness was very terrible was to get a young, fair-looking girl, psychedelic girl, twisting the waist like a lizard going for a funeral. They brought this girl to David. The lady slept with David on David's bed for a number of days. First Kings chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. You can go and read it. First Kings 1, 1 to 4. After a while, the people came and said, Did he touch you? And they say, no. He say, hey, old man, you're the idiot. Then we I feel you say you're the serious. Because that was the only way. Because as a man, let's 
in King Solomon slept with thousand women. Every man has the capacity to sleep with thousand women. Unless there's a sickness. I'm telling you. So your husband is staying with you faithfully. And, 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 and you are not impressed. You are not impressed. You are using Abache to shoulder him. You are not impressed that this man has left all other girls, forsaken all others, and living with you. You are not impressed. If you were, if he was a worldly person, you would have seen. You'll be there, and you come and say, "Move out of the bedroom," and you bring a girlfriend into the bedroom because he's a Christian. You are taking him for granted because he's a Christian. Please. All of you men, let's watch it. Let's be careful. Let's be disciplined. If, if you are struggling, please, anytime you are going, I wear th three trousers. Wait. Don't use belt. Use a uh, boss uh, uh, and tie it. Tie it very well. Tie it. If you are sitting close to a man, tell him, did you hear that advice? Did you three trousers? Tell him the pastor said three trousers. Three trousers. Your zip is too loose. Your zip is too loose. Look for three trousers. Discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. Before you disgrace yourself. Before you bring problems into your marriage. You are always chatting with certain girls. Calling certain girls in the middle of the night. Hiding under a stove. Why? Why? You want the stove to burn you. Hiding under a stove. What kind of lust is this? Your lust is driving you too far. Driving you too far. 